Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to discuss and show you the latest updates in Google Meet for the month of March. So first let me explain what are the latest updates Google provided in Google Meet. Uh, in the month of February, they have provided preview how you look and sound before a video call. That means before you start a video call in Google Meet, you can check your audio and video quality and other things. And then mute all for education users. It was not available initially, but now it has been made available for everybody. And then end meeting for all. So these are the updates for the month of February. And in the month of March, they are, Google has updated few more things like use Meet Global Dialing for Google Workspace meetings. Create breakout rooms before a video call through Google Calendar. Polls in Google Meet are available on iOS devices. Question and answer with Google Meet is available on iOS devices. New iOS safety controls for education users. So I'm going to discuss all these things and I'm going to show you what exactly and how exactly we have to make use of these latest updates. Now without any delay, now let me open the Google Meet. So I'll turn off this camera and then I'll switch to uh, Google Meet. First, uh, let me log into the Google Chrome browser and then I'll open the G Suite account. So here is my G Suite account. So let me log in first into my G Suite account and then uh, let me open one of the classrooms. Okay, so here is the link. So let me open the G Suite account. Now I'm going to log in using the uh, G Suite account. Okay, here. Now you can hear see that before you enter into your Google Meet using G Suite account, check your audio and video. That means before you start your meeting, you can check your audio and video quality and you can even uh, do complete settings for your audio and video quality. So let us first learn. It is called actually green room settings before you enter inside your online meeting as a moderator or a presenter or even as a participant. So once we click check your audio and video here, you can see uh, a big window pop up came uh, default microphone, your devices, default microphone, default speakers and camera. OK, so you have to select if you want to change the microphone, if you are using headphones or any other, then you can change the microphone according to your convenience. So I'm using this microphone. So I have set then default speakers, audio, video, you have to set speakers. Uh, you must be seeing I have three different speakers. So accordingly, whichever speaker is convenient you want to use, you have to set that one. And then camera options also. See, um, we may generally use different cameras. So nowadays, so you can have to select it, which camera you want to use for that particular meeting. So once you set all these things, it's like a green room. You can even see how you are looking in the camera or in front of the camera. So let us uh, select next. So once you select next, capture a short clip record and play a short video sample of you talking so you can see how you will look and sound no one else will see this and it's not saved anywhere so what is the advantage of uh, doing this or using this up feature is uh, sometimes we don't know actually whether our camera turned on or not or our microphone is uh, we have we muted or not so suddenly when we enter inside the meeting in google meet or using g suite account or normal google meet so uh, the people who are already in the meeting, they can see us. If you are not properly dressed, then it will become unnecessary a problem for you. And if you have not muted your microphone, then whatever you speak audience, others people can listen to you. So it may sometimes land you in trouble. So you have to, you can record or capture a short video clip and then you can check the quality. So let me show you how to do that and some give feedback. Okay, so let us click start here. So once you click start here, Recording is about to start. Say something. For example, I am just testing my audio and video. Play the video clip to see how you look and sound. So all this, your results, mic is checked, speaker check, camera check, connection is also good. That means the quality of the audio, video, camera and all is are good. All these are good. Then tips and tricks, check again. If you want to check again, you can check again. But let me play the video which I have recorded before entering inside the Google Meet. So let me start click here. Recording is about to start. Say something. For example, I am just testing. So this is the test video. We can check the quality of video and audio before entering into the Google Meet. So this generally we call as a grid room. So once you set everything ready, 
like uh, camera microphone all those things and once you uh, check the quality of the audio and video quality then you have to join so this is a, one of the good features and then uh, of course change background feature already explained so let us click join now so once you select join now here there are few new features are available according to the new uh, we'll first discuss preview how you look and sound before a video call already we have discussed then mute all for education users and end meeting for all so let me come back and here show everyone okay no participants in my meeting but once participant join into your meeting you have to click this show everyone so once you select this show everyone here you can see all muted that means once the participants join your meeting or your students once they enter inside your meet class online class they will become muted the thing is you can mute them but you cannot unmute them from your side okay so it is already showing all muted so it is good feature for most of us because we have been facing so many problems students they sometimes start speaking unnecessary and we can't mute them that is the one of the drawbacks in google meet now google meet has come updated so you can mute everybody in your meeting then add people tab is also there and host controls now after completion of the meeting you want to leave the meeting but uh, some students may not leave the meeting the reason is they will remain in the meeting even though you leave the meeting for that also google meet has come with an updation uh, mute all for education users i have explained then end meeting for all so let us go back to this meeting now i want to uh, come out of the meeting not only to leave the call but i also want to end the meeting for everybody so let me click leave call now here you can see end this video call for everyone just leave the call or end the call if i click just leave the call that means i will only leave the call but all the participants they will remain present in the meeting now if you want to end the call that means if you want to end the call and end the meeting for everybody you have to select end the call so let us select end the call so once you select end the call the meeting is ended from your side now you have ended the meeting for everyone that means nobody else can join your meeting with your permission and whoever are in your meeting they have been removed from the meeting now see something uh, information quick access was turned off to keep people from rejoining your meeting quick access was turned off when turned off everyone who isn't invited must ask to join future occurrences of this meeting until you turn it back so nobody else can join into your meeting once you have end the meeting for everybody so this is one of the updates now let us go back to the march 2021 updates use global dialing for google workspace meetings use your phone to join in google meet video calls from the more countries but this feature is not yet available for uh, g suite users in india because uh, even let me just uh, go back and let me start the meeting and let me try to show you whether this feature is available or not i tried but the feature is not yet available for g suite users uh, for education so i don't have the other the future which i have uh, explained to so let me just make it move to a new window then me let me close here and then now i can uh, explain these things and i can show you what features uh, or updates are available for normal users so you can use uh, meet global dialing for work google workspace meetings then create breakout rooms before a video call through google calendar that means generally you can create uh, work uh, groups uh, breakout rooms once they enter inside your classroom but here are your meeting but according to this meeting moderators can now pre assign participants into breakout rooms through google calendar so let us see how to do this for a new meeting create a new google calendar event click add google meet video conference add participants then click change conference settings on the left click breakout rooms so we have to create a, a meeting in google calendar and with the help of that we can create breakout rooms so this is one of the updates for the month of march then polls in google meet are available on ios devices uh, meeting participants can now respond to polls on their ios devices learn how to respond to polls on ios you can ask questions you can conduct polls using this but the the only thing is uh, google is not uh, providing all these features for google 
meet account holders or even for G Suite account holders. So these uh, features are first rolled out to only uh, currently available to G Suite Business, Google Workspace Essentials, Business Standard, Business Plus, Enterprise Essentials, Enterprise Standard, and Enterprise Plus users. This is also available to teachers and students with the Google Workspace for Education Plus license. But uh, slowly Google will roll out to everybody. So you can use all these uh, features using normal Google Meet. So question and answer with Google Meet is also available. So you can ask question and you can respond to the questions new ios safety controls for education users so control accessing to a meeting prevent students from sending chat messages prevent students from presenting let me explain this uh, i have already explained i suppose so present during a video call that means when you are presenting from your side students can also start presenting from their side or uh, they may disturb you by presenting from uh, their end so for that what we can do is we can set controls so come to this let me show you once again come to this host controls and here you can see uh, quick access when it is turned off nobody else can join share their screen once you turn off this one nobody else can share the screen from their side so students cannot create any kind of disturbance while you are taking online classes and send chat message also if you turn off nobody can send a message in the chat and nobody can disturb your class so these are the latest updates and then uh, Google Workspace for education users. So uh, generally as Google is a private company, they also want to earn money. So these features they are not providing or uh, giving for each and every Google Meet users. So prevent students from sending chat messages also we discussed. Okay. And then uh, control access to a meeting. So let us see our add people to a video meeting in progress. So we can add people. So let us click here and here you can see uh, once you select that one and enter the name of the uh, student, select it and then send mail. So the student will be automatically added and the student can get access to your class and chart also we explained. So these are the uh, new features for the month of uh, uh, February and for the month of March. But only one thing is all these features may not be available if you are using Google Meet. Some features may be available in Google Meet. Some features may be available for G Suite education users. But all the features will be available for those people who have paid a lot of money to Google so that they can enjoy the features. But need not to worry. All these features will be slowly um, uh, rolled out. That means all these features will be slowly available for each and every person who is using Google Meet in future. So these are the latest updates in Google Meet for the month of uh, March. Of course, I have covered even for the month of February. So thanks for watching this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, uh, please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment I upload videos on YouTube. So and always remember, stay home, stay safe and stay strong. Take care. Thanks for watching this video. If you have come to the end of this video, I believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic. So now you can check this out video or watch this one. Click this video. It will take you into another video.